Hi, welcome everyone. It's Paula here at Scrappy Fix. I just want to do a quick video um, of a mini album I've just finished. Um, it's for my daughter's 21st birthday, which is today. It's now after midnight, so hence why I'm doing a video, because she will be getting the book today. Um, and the theme of the party, which we're having here at home, is zombies. So I've done cards made out of, or cards that look like um, coffins. The cake is zombie themed, all the decorations upstairs are zombie themed. We've got dripping blood all over the, all over the house. Um, fake blood that is. And, um, wall hangings and screens and you name it um, we've got it so there will be some um, other videos going up i will have um, another tutorial on the um, invitations that i did so be sure to go back and have a look at that but this one i just wanted to do very quickly about the book um, because that's your present or one of the presents that i'm going to give you later on today so, because it's zombie themed, um, it seemed appropriate to do a book of the undead. So, this is it here, and it's made totally from scratch. Um, hopefully, you can see the writing on there, although it is um, kind of done so that it tones in. But it says Book of the Undead there. Um, perhaps there, as I move it around a little bit, just see the texture there. It was designed so that it kind of blends in um, to the background, so to speak. Uh, now, I started from scratch. The paper that I've used to create the whole album is um, some of the Black Series craft pad, which I got here in New Zealand from the French art shop. Um, and that was thank you to Michelle... Um, who gave me that information um, and I really do appreciate it because I love the paper completely. Um, and this book has been made with three signatures. And I've got an extra one here. So I have cut the A3 paper down to A4 and then made each signature with five pages which I have hand stitched um, in there to hold it all together. I then um, entwined all the binding and have put it into the album. You can just see the spine there. It's about oh, three quarters of an inch, I think. Um, and it's all been adhered in. And I've actually used um, structure strips, which if you've seen my other video, you know what they are. I used those to hold it into the album here. The covers are actually recycled cardboard from, like, I think it was a cereal box, um, which I've also been covered in the same paper that I used for the internal pages. So here it is. Um, let's go have a look. Now, the, the back is, is plain, well, plainish, no, no writing on there, but it's actually been done there is um, texture paste on there and I used for that the Atelier um, modeling compound and medium hopefully you can see that that's because that's what I was able to find at um, warehouse stationery here in New Zealand um, just to lay it on very thin using my palette knife and then I've actually um, used the tip of it to create scratches down there um, very in keeping with the theme and then on the front cover um, I've also used some modeling paste as well and gone uh, sort of around the letters but also partially over the letters to help them blend in as well what I've covered colored the cover in is a huge selection of mists um, all from um, Lindy's Stamp Gang with one exception. Um, so I'll start with the obvious one that sort of stands out, the, the dripping blood effect here and on the back and you'll see that through throughout. And that is the Dilusions Ink Spray and I use Cherry Pie in that. Um, 
didn't really spread as such but did a lot of taking the cap off and dripping it from the top and just letting it flow where it wanted so that was you know key to getting the look but then the lindies that I've actually used on and I've used from um, three different sets that I've got so from the Starbursts um, Haunted Halloween set for this first I've used um, Hags Warp Orange, so it's a gorgeous orangey colour, and also Screaming Banshee Black, so they're part of the Haunted Halloween set. From the Sweet Treat set, I've used the Cadbury Milk Chocolate and also the Dark Chocolate Truffle, um, so they're two browns there. Um, really love these colours and the just the, the mica that's in there is just absolutely fantastic to give it a, giving it a totally glorious shimmer and sheen you can see that in the cover there the third set that I used was a moon shadow set the blue label set and the colors in here are long john silver which hopefully you can put it in for you so you can see them long john silver the golden doubloons then I also used um, Jolly Roger Red and Crow's Nest Copper. So they were all from the blue label set. So that's what I've coloured it with. I've then gone around the edges and sort of highlighting the letters here using my Distress Inks. And that is the Tim Hotz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. And also in walnut stone. And these are my two probably favourite colours that I use just about all the time, if not definitely all the time. So that was on the, both the front and the back. And you can, if I just sort of hold that up, you can really see that shimmer coming through. Um, so amazing. Um, just the different colours as they blend really look fantastic. And it's certainly given an amazing look to the edge and I wanted it to kind of look like it had been around and been used to fight off zombies and, and the undead and really sort of in the theme of it. Um, I then used, if I open up, I used, I've lined it all and you can see there a structure strip. I have used also um, a diluted walnut ink antiquing solution and that is in the walnut ink itself and also terracotta and I have watered those down or put them sprayed them into a container watered them down and then um, just drip them from all around from every side from the top from the bottom from the side to get that real sort of aged vintage look that look like it's been through the, the war and back again. So I've done, you can see that sort of the colours splattering through. We've got the drops of blood, which is a mix of the Dilusions Cherry Pie and also the Lindy's um, Stamp Gang, the Jolly Roger Red. The, 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 Cherry pie gave me the sort of intense red that I wanted, but I liked it with the Jolly Roger red mixed in because it gave it some depth, some depth of the colour and a little bit of shine and made it look what I'd call a little bit more realistic in terms of what blood is. So the two of those together um, really did give me the fantastic kind of shimmery blood look. Kind of thing. Pick that up and I move it around a little bit. Hopefully you will see some of that shimmer coming through. Um, and that's been kind of splattered throughout um, here. Got the blood drips coming through on some of the pages, especially in the front there. Um, but a lot of the, the, the dyeing from the walnut ink and the, the terracotta ink uh, just throughout. Um, all the pages. So, go through and sort of explain how we made this. I started off 
made the signatures. I then used my Tim Holtz distressor to distress all the edges on every single page. And I also used the Tim Holtz scratcher um, as well to distress the edges of the page. And I wanted to do them like that so that the, um, the inks would actually soak into the pages a little bit more than if it was just sort of hard or, or cut edges on them and it certainly did make a huge difference and it's also aged it really well you can see that hopefully coming in there on the edges of those pages where they do look sort of tattered and used or more so made all my signatures scratched all the edges and then um, tied them all together so that, that the three signatures were together and that gave me I think about 60 pages or 60 sides I then went and just sort of inked all the edges here set that up and actually let it soak in overnight and dry naturally so that it does look the, the real, very much water stained look um, on, the, on each of the individual pages um, I've then attached in the, the cover put in some inside covers and then started to add some stamping and little wee printables and the printables I've downloaded from online um, all of them are um, free freebies that I found online mainly from Ephemera's Vintage Garden um, printing uh, premium marketing and also howtohauntyourhouse.com so selection of the, the three companies there where I was able to download them um, and most of them I have set up um, as um, like pockets so you can slip things in there there are a few of the smaller ones which are just in those um, decorations um, and they go throughout the book there so I'll, I'll run through and very quickly show you the pages soon I've also done a lot of stamping with different sets that I've picked up from Rubber Dubba Doo, from who are a New Zealand company here, um, also from Kaiser Craft, and um, a new one that I've got, which is from Crafty Individuals, and it's this one here. So I've cut all those up and used those. So, the, so quickly, just sort of run through the pages because I know we're building up in time. So we've got printables there. This one's another little pocket. This is one of the Rubber Dubba Doo ones. Um, and I've just used archival inks from those because I knew I would be um, perhaps adding some more water. Little wee tags throughout. Um, just to add some interest. And because I, I, we're going to put this out on the table um, during the 21st so that people can write messages in there for um, Alicia's 21st. They can, she can put in any photos that she wants to take of the cake, um, of the presents, of everyone all dressed up in their costumes. Uh, just so that she has got something for her memories and then she can always add in and turn it into a diary or a journal for, for herself. So again, some of the little slots for putting in. This is another one of the Rubber Double Do stamps. I'm a bachelor and co. Here's an example, just put a tag in there as well so you can write in, you can see some of the things to do. Um, this one here was a printable and I can't remember where I got it, um, but I'll have a look and see if I can put that in there. And I've just fell in love with these glasses and I've just put, um, put, put, put what's it called? Glossy accent. Um, over the eyes to make it look like the lenses of, of the, the glasses have got lenses and you can just see that shimmer in there a little bit. Um, many people's I wear glasses and also my daughter is supposed to wear glasses. Um, so just a little thing there. Just embellishments, again more pockets throughout the album. Um, more splatters of blood just so you've got something to have a look at, sort of keeping in the theme. Um, 
I couldn't really find anything vampire, or well, not vampire, zombie-ish. So just tried to do a lot of like vintage, vintagey type things, which would be sort of indicative of of someone who'd been around for a while and had been passed down from one hunter to another, or from so that you've got the history that you're coming through. Um, Truth Serum, that's one of the ones from HaddleHauntYourHouse.com. Um, really cool. Lots of different options there, and you know, you can use it in Halloween pages and all that sort of thing. And you've got your page that's sort of stuck together, that's cool. Adds to the um, distressing look there. Little stamps, again, this is one of the Friday freebies which you can get from Prima Marketing um, on their Facebook page. Be sure to go and have a look at that. And then I've just added a little wee envelope here in the back. Um, another freebie that I picked up just so if she's got anything else that she wants to put in there that doesn't quite fit, she's got that. And then finishing off with Forever Young. So that's the journal. Hopefully um, Alicia will love it as much as I do and if she doesn't like it then I'll have it. Um, but there it is, so that's the Book of the Undead for my daughter's birthday. Thank you very much for watching. And be sure to check out my blog for some still photos of the album. Thank you.